Hi everyone, welcome back, welcome back to my channel Train Tutor. So here in this session, I'm going to solve a problem that is to find the square root of y29 by division method. So we'll see how to solve this or how to find the square root of this y29. First, we'll draw the lines like this. Okay, and we'll write 529 here. See, the first step here is to place a bar, okay, over every pair of the digits. The first point I have written here, place a bar over every pair of digits. So now here we have three digits. We have odd number of digits. So no problem. So still we can place the bar. Okay, start from the units place. The units place here is nine, right? So start from here. So one bar is over now. So one digit is left out. So no problem. We can place a bar over this also now. See, first step is to place a bar over every pair of digits. Then even if the number of digits is odd, the leftmost single digit will have bar. Okay, the leftmost single digit will have bar even if the number of digits is odd. So this was all about the first step. See, we are done with the first step now. Now the second step here is, to find the largest number whose square is less than or equal to the extreme left. So which is which number is on the extreme left? So we have phi over here, right? So phi is at the extreme left. So now we'll have to find the largest number, okay? Largest number whose square is less than or equal to the extreme left number. So the extreme left number is phi here. So which one is that less than or equal to here? Uh, we have the perfect square uh, 4, right? 4 is the perfect square. 4 is less than 5. So that condition applies here. So 4 is the perfect square. Then the square root of 4 is here 2. So now this 2 square is less than 5. And we have one more. Uh, one more is, uh, yeah, if I take 3 square, that is 9. So, we'll have to select the smallest number here, that is 2. So, now see here, the 5 lies between 2 square and 3 square, that is nine, 4 and 9. The 5 lies between 4 and 9. So, for, we'll have to select the smallest number, that is 2. So, now this 2, see here, I'm going to write 2 here. What is 2 here? See here, now this 2 will be divisor as well as quotient also. Now, take this 2 as divisor and also as quotient, okay? That is 2 times 2 now will be equal to 4. See, isn't it less than this extreme left number that is 5? Now, 5 is nothing but the dividend here, okay? So, we'll have to take this 5 as the dividend and take this 2 as the divisor and 2 as the quotient. Okay, now what is the next step here? So the second step we have seen, we'll have to take the extreme left number. See that you have to find the largest number whose square is less than or equal to the extreme left number that is 5. Okay, now that is also done. Now here we'll have to subtract this. So what is 5 minus 4? 5 minus 4 is 1. Okay, 5 minus 4 is 1. Next step is to bring down this part. That is 2, 9. So, here we have 129 now. Now, here see that. So, we have brought down the number under the next bar. That is 29. So, that third step is also done. Now, we will see what is the fourth step to follow. Now, the next step is to double the quotient or add the number to itself. So, when we add the number to itself, we get here 4, right? We get 4. So, now we'll have to write 4 over here with a blank on its right. Okay, with a blank on its right. So, we'll see what will be the next step. See, I have doubled the number or double the quotient or I have added the divisor to itself. And we have got 4 here with a blank on its right. Okay, we have written a blank on its right. Now, we'll have to guess the largest possible digit to fill this blank. So, let us check. Okay. So, we'll first take this 
the same number should be repeated okay whatever the number we are going to fill in this blank the same number has to be repeated here see if i take one here i have to take the same number here that is 41 into 1 is 41 right so here we have 129 so i think 41 is of no use now now we'll try with 2 here 42 into 2 see that the same number is repeated 42 into 2 is 84 okay let's try with 3 now that is 43 into 3 we will get 129 okay so we can take this now we can fill the blank with this 3 now that is 43 into 3 okay so what we'll get 43 into 3 is 129 so i can write it down 129 here and here what i have to do is i will have to place one more line here and then i'll have to subtract this so after subtraction i'll get the remainder as zero once you get the remainder zero here what is that like after getting the remainder zero you can say that therefore the square root now is equal to what is the square root therefore the square root of 529 is equal to now 23 okay is equal to 23 i hope you got this how to find the square root by division method okay so please do subscribe in order to get the latest updates thank you thanks for watching